Hello everyone and welcome back for the next episode in our playthrough of The Hex. Things are out of control. Out of control. I don't know who's real. I don't know who is who they say they are. I don't know which games belong to who anymore. Who's alive. Who's dead. Who's working together and who's not. I mean, my goodness, it's complete chaos at the moment. All boundaries are being broken. Surely this thing's going to wrap up nice and neat by the time we're all done and everything's going to make sense, right? <laughs> So we're currently playing as Lazarus. It was a really interesting story as we found out that Lazarus and the Super Weasel Kid were working together at accomplishing something. It sounds like they were trying to bring down the Game Works studio, but they were deceived in some kind of way. I don't know. I really don't know. It's in complete chaos right now. If this is your first time finding the channel, welcome. Hope you have a fantastic time. And if you have a really good time, it sure would help me out if you consider hitting that subscribe button. I got lots of theories, lots of questions. Let's see if we can figure out some of these in this episode. Oh, okay. Let's see if we can finish getting this elevator working. Basement level. Okay, good. That's right where it left off. We've got two of the three and we just need to get one more. Let's go over here. Oh, actually, maybe I need to... Can I go through? Okay, yeah, that's how we go. So I just dropped the first episode of this today. So excited to finally be getting this out there for you guys because I know I got some people that are huge fans of the Daniel Mullins guy, team, group. And uh, I just really want to know what's going on. That must be some kind of a Gatlin or something. Can I shoot, please? Hmm. Whee! Oh, boy. Oop. Oh. Does it not shoot me if I'm in this form? Ah, <laughs> you can't do nothing. But I can't really do anything either. <laughs> it sure is trying. Oh, here we go. Okay, I see what's going on here. Can I destroy you in some fashion? Nope, okay. I see the blue light now showing only forward. All right. I'm so confused, guys. I'm looking forward to hopefully getting some answers here at some point. Oh, check that out. He actually came into my realm. That was fantastic. All right, so I can walk through here. No walking through the lava. Oh, I got it to shoot it. <laughs> can I go through there now? Nope. Okay, so now I got to change. This is wild. I am blown away with all the different puzzles that they've managed to come up with. Not to mention all the different, like, <sighs> games and mechanics and stuff. It's like, this is like six different game genres in one, you know? Oh. Okay, I wasn't sure if that lava, it looks like lava. I wasn't sure if that was going to hurt me or not. Gee, holy is it blue glow, child of myrrh. Let's say child of myrrh, shiny apostle. Hail its twinkles, let the light cleanse you. Oh, these guys. Okay. Looks like I can come in here. Oh! Wow. Okay. Um, let's see if anything changes when I do this. Oh, maybe they can't hurt me in this form. Yeah, what do you guys think? Uh -huh. Oh, look at this. <laughs> I almost feel bad about this. Bathe in the light of my children. Embrace warmth of the shiny. All right. Look at that, it's got like a little uh, crown or something on the gun. <laughs> that was pretty wild. All right, looks like we might almost have this elevator back up and running. 
Just, so you just come over here and ba boom. It's red though. I need it to be green, don't I? Or blue? Oh no, they are each different colors. Okay. Do you copy? I powered the elevator doors. Waiting there now. I'm still alive. The carriage was on my floor, but I'm sending it your way. I left a weapon or two in there for you. Well, that was nice of him. Oh. Do wield what? I made it into the elevator. I'm feeling quite nervous, nauseous. Stay alert. I'm up on the second floor. Oh my goodness, see the top. If you make it up here in one piece, we may still have a shot at completing the mission. Hey, come out with your hands up. Uh, or my gundas will tear you to shreds. No one is surrendering. Oh boy. Oh, and check it out. I can like shoot off to the side. <laughs> That's awesome. So they're coming out like through the two side doors. I could hit them at the same time. This is wild. Okay. Who wants some? Who wants some? Hello? Oh, check that out. Surround the elevator. Move into position. Uh. Ooh. Oh, I did not do that right, did I? Oh, I've shot too early. No. <laughs> it's harder than it looks. Oh, oh I almost had it that time. Oh, boy, he's quick. What are these? Oh, same thing. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm doing, like, the Matrix or something. Oh. Oh. Not cool. Oh, boy. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't got my target set right. Oh. Oh. Oh man, this one's tough. And there's still another level. Oh, they got me on the reload. My goodness, this is tricky. Oh! Bro. Oh, they're so fast. Oh, dang it. Oh. oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, finally. My goodness. Confound you. Defense forces, ready yourselves. Protect the game works. Ooh. Get him. Oh. Oh. Get up. Oh. Got it. Oh. Oh. Come on. Get some health back. Quick. Oh, I did it. That one is bad. Almost there. I can see that. I've got the quarter corridor cleared on this floor, but we've had we've had a lot quite we have to move quick, I think is what he said. That was cool. Department of non-player characters. Look at this. <laughs> Lazarus. It's good to see you. Wow, you were busy up here. Let's hope my work is done. What? Let's hope my work is done for the time being. Time to move. 
Wait a minute. Why are we on this floor? You said the artifact was on the ground floor. I thought you'd never ask. The ground floor is flooded with hostiles. They've had time to reinforce their security detail. So we're making a detour. So, do you have a plan to get past this door? That's what this is for. Is he holding the foot of... For mer's sake. Was it one of the feet of the one of the emoji characters? <laughs> yeah, that was a little disturbing, wasn't it? Dandy defense Danny defense system. Get past the lasers and shut down the security. I'm going to cover our backs. What are you doing? Okay. If I shoot these, do they turn? Yep. Hmm. That one does not. Oh. There we go. Uh. Okay. That one's not going to turn. There we go. Oh no, we got another dead person over here. Oh, it's a sniper. That's what I was kind of hoping for. Oh no, it's not a sniper. I trust you, Jeremiah, but what exactly are we breaking into here? The holding cells for detained NPCs. Oh no, who are we trying to break out? Hmm? I need to go up and around. Oh, oops. Will that one turn? Oh, I can shoot this one, can't I? There we go. Quite a little, uh, quite a little puzzle we got here. you um those don't turn oh it's bouncing okay i'll see what's going on here almost like we're playing a version of portal or something right okay what do we got is there another bounce yeah, there we go <laughs> Bouncing bullets, baby. Whoop. That's close. Hmm. I just shoot you. You go down. Okay. Is it a specific NPC that we are here for? Yes. A particularly dangerous one. Hmm. Interesting. Um, there we go. Oh, I need to move that one. Uh, oop. No, I'll go get it from there. There we are. This is. This is interesting. Ooh, we got some really big ricochets going on here. Almost. Uh, come on, baby. There we are. It's like a weird form of bowling. Oh! I got myself with that one. Where did the where did it change to? Hmm, I wonder why I got shot by that one. Oh, I gotta scoot over, because it starts ricocheting right where I'm standing, that's why. 
Be right there. There we go. I was like, what am I doing wrong? Oh boy. Um. Mm -hmm. I need to hit that thing. I think. Hmm. Gotta be a longer ricochet. Whoop! Almost walked into it. Hmm. Now I thought this was the sniper. Why can't I, like, hold this to see? Hmm. Not be the sniper. Oh, status offline. Oh, okay. I guess this wasn't hitting it quite right. Or maybe I had to hit it from both sides. I may need another hand coming right up. What should I expect in there? A few familiar faces, but don't get distracted. We are not here to talk to anyone. Head straight down to the maximum security cell and bust the lock. I am nervous that it's only giving me three bullets. You. Wait. You've got to be you. It's you again. Huh? Who's that? They locked me in this cursed cell after Secrets of Legendaria. Who, whoever it is, I hope you're prepared to bow down before your lord, the Verm. What the heck do we have here, mate? That's got to be the crocodile. <laughs> Oh, look, we got the dummy over here. There's the dragon. <laughs> my goodness. But now that you know you are my subject, please bow down. Oh, my goodness. Warning, stay behind the yellow line. Uh... Ooh. The music. Oh, do I gotta shoot these maybe? Oh, there we go. This is a little creepy. <gasps> What's this person gonna do? She's she's been kinda weird. This whole game's weird. What am I talking about? Oh run! <laughs> we broke her out, and then the first thing he says is run? That last mission, so much blood. Can, can you believe how much that Golgarthian Gargalith blood? It dried in the cracks of my armor. I can smell it. I'm not sure how much longer I can do this. What if I told you I knew someone who could help us? Someone I met during my RPG days. Help us? How? I'm not sure. But I was told to find the Six Pint Inn. It's so confusing. This game is messing with me. I don't even have any theories yet. Are you here to meet him too? You must be the Space Marine. You're not as tough looking as I imagined. You, quiet. Someone is approaching. All right, well, there's the hooded creature. I'm glad you could both make it. You're here because you have certain misgivings about the way you've been handled. I'm here to offer you both a solution. What is our role in this? We'll be undertaking a deadly operation to steal a most important artifact. What to do? With your help, it can open a portal. A portal to... Lazarus? Did you make it? What? what You went silent for a while. 
I, I think I found the artifact. What are you waiting for then? Take it. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, look, something blinking on there. Can't interact with it. What? Is that the, the hex symbol that we see like on the game? Oh. Hey, yeah, uh, is this what you're after? The artifact? Does it matter how I respond? No, but let's make the best of it anyways. You set me free after all. I ought to return the favor. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> A Tetris piece. Perfect. I choose this one. It's like a Pokeball. Oh boy. I gotta shoot in the backside there, don't I? Whoop. Oh. Whoop. Look at all my shells laying on the ground. Whoop. Well, that's close. I feel like I'm playing, I'm trying to verse a pinky. I'm trying to get behind it to shoot the back side of it. Ooh. Oh boy. Not very effective. Let's see what else we have. <laughs> this is so weird. Ah, the frying pan. Why don't you take this one? <laughs> A hundred left? It says a hundred alive. Hmm, exciting. You've been transported to some sort of battleground. Oh my gosh, try not to die. Oh man, they're doing like a play on uh, Fortnite or something, aren't they? Or PUBG. Shrinking safe area in 10 seconds. Isn't the frying pan supposed to be like some ultimate weapon in that? Oh. You'd better start running. That blue stuff melts your skin. With LMG. Oh, I'm running, I'm running. Ah. 68 alive, 67. With his bare hands, with the sniper, a stern glance. Okay, I guess I'm still doing right. We're halfway. We're down to 50 people left. Uh. <laughs> this is so random. The blue killed girl Bryce. Okay. Oh, someone else got a frying pan. Oh, Ooh, I hit somebody. I wonder if it's better to run the gun. Hmm. Not many left, Lazarus. You might actually win. Ten left. Eight. Seven. Six, five. Four, three. Two. Oh, the suspense. One left. Ah, one! <laughs> winner, winner. Well, it's not time for dinner just yet. Chicken dinner, I think, is what's supposed to be there. Now, what else we got? <laughs> so random. Hmm, hey, it's a mushroom. Looks tasty. What would happen if I... Hmm, chewy. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Oh! Stay back! Oh! Can I destroy a hand? Oh! Disgusting! He 
keep going with that face. Oh, I see the life bar there at the bottom. This is nuts. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm getting close. <laughs> we got it. Mission accomplished. You've got it? Let's get out of here. Okay, so I got the artifact. Is it really over? I mean, I almost feel like that was too easy. I feel like there's gonna be some other twist come up here. Maybe. Oh, tiny little spider came walking out. I found an escape pod. Do you know where you're going? I think so. Go south 500 meters, then head east. Hmm. I think I see an emergency exit. Suit yourself. Uh. Okay, I have no jump. All I can do is, like, look around. And carry my little artifact. So weird. Inaudible. Oh. Stolen. What? Who is that? Like, on the screen. So is this why he was after me? Is because I took this artifact? <laughs> Complete Lazarus memory. Well, there it is. The murder. The murder. You just saw it. Lazarus killed Irving at the bar with an assault rifle. What a neat ending to the story. Are you satisfied? No. I'm glad to hear that. You see, it's very important that you're still invested in this. You've got a key role to play. But before that, I'm sure you're wondering about our sixth guest. Oh, I forgot about this guy being here. Look at that. Why do I, why can't I push W? Can he change into these people? He taught me to fight. I suppose I owe him that. Oh, Irving? Wow. So is that all over then? We can breathe easy? We figured out the murderer. It was the guy who shoots things for a living. Did you though? I'm not surprised Lazarus is the killer. He certainly has that look about him. It's nearly 6 a.m. I don't even have a room here. <laughs> Good riddance. I'm not the only one happy to see him go. So many game characters were subjected to his will. Or at least the will he enforced. Back off, creep. <laughs> Sorry. All right. That Lazarus has to say for himself. He wasn't the first I've killed, and I doubt he'll be the last. Oh, I didn't expect that. Who are you? <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Okay, let's talk to the old guy. What do you make of all this? Of course, he created you without a mouth. But I imagine he didn't spare you from the ability to hear. I want you to enter my personal cabin. It's a quaint little thing, perched a few 
paces east of the inn. You and our player friend will add a final dimension to this story. Well, thank goodness, because I am still extremely confused. So I can leap? No, not there. Go out the doors. Okay. He said east. But what's this way, then? Oh. Found a coin. There's no way I've got enough to open that other pop machine down there. It was like 350, and I think I might have one or two. Nowhere near enough. Okay. This is so weird. So, Lazarus... Okay, let's pause for a second. So, they're saying that Lazarus was the one that was planning on committing a murder. But who made the phone call then? It would have to have been somebody that set them all up. Now, the person in the little gray hood, or the brown hoodie thing, which turned out to be Jeremiah, I think. It was weird, because he had that mushroom thing in his head. But as we, as I was editing the yesterday's video, I noticed the little eyeglass thing. And the eyeglass thing is what he was wearing during that whole time running around with Lazarus in that game. So I think that's him. So, Jeremiah sent him in to get the artifact. He got the artifact, and he escaped. But did Jeremiah never get the artifact, and so maybe he's trying to get Lazarus set up so that he can get the artifact and use it for himself, even though we have no clue what the artifact does? We've also got this... I keep calling her the Puppet Master because I can't... Sato? Something like that. Soda? I forget what her name was. But she is like... She's got like magical abilities and she obviously is crossing all these different games too. I'm trying to find the thread that, that like makes the story make sense and right now I see bits and pieces that... You know, I'm like, okay, so that answers this kind of little question. Like, we, we now know how Lazarus and um, Super Weasel Kid know each other. We also know how Lazarus and Chandrella know each other. We understand why Bryce was confused about being a cook versus a fighter. I mean, we've, we've gotten lots of little answers to some of these questions. Sarsaparilla... We found out that's the password to get into that thing where there was supposed to be a cache. Dust, Rusty, we don't really have confirmation yet on if he actually had a son or not. I did wonder, though, with that dead body that we found inside of Lazarus's game, it had the little robot thing on the table next to it, which made me wonder, could that actually be uh, Rocky? Maybe Rocky got taken control of by one of those as well, and that's his body? I don't know. I still have a lot of questions. But I, I cannot connect all the dots yet. There's got to be some piece that kind of connects these. I, I was beginning to think it was this Irving character and Gameworks was going to be like the ultra mastermind behind all of this. But we just kind of took down <laughs> the Gameworks plays. Oh, I don't know. Either way, I'm excited to see where this goes. I just wanted to go ahead and give some of my thoughts here before we move forward so that we can maybe see, maybe you guys are maybe on the same wavelength as me on some of these. Maybe you've got some answers to some of those questions. Uh, if you leave anything in the comment section, please mark it spoilers so people who haven't seen it yet, uh, they won't be spoiled by something that they want to see still to come. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. All right, let's continue. So I don't have a mouth, but I do have ears. How far can I go? All right, so we got two possible entrances here. That looks like a house. This looks like a shed or an outhouse or something. I can't see nothing. I hear flies. I wonder if it is supposed to be an outhouse. And click. Okay. Well, let's go in the cabin. Oh boy. 
Okay, we got a lock here. We'll pa I don't want to. I don't want to start clicking things just yet. What's that say? Root. Root beverages guide. Disciples of hospitality. Forced. Mnemonics? Mnemonics, maybe? Something to memory? Soda recipes. Trust in... Coercion. Okay. Okay. Can we... Okay, let's go over here and flip that switch. Maybe it's gonna boot the place up. Oh, we got a little... Hmm. Uh... There it is. Okay. Okay, this has obviously got to go somewhere. Can I put it in between here? I see where all it'll let me try to put it down. Uh, so I can't flip it so that it goes the other way. Can I grab anything, move anything? Oh, there's a coin. They do a good job making those sneaky, don't they? Hmm. Makes me wonder if there's something else I gotta bring, like, from the inn back here. Okay, let's go back out to that little outhouse thing, see if anything changed out there. I don't know if it's an outhouse, but... Hello? I'm supposed to add another dimension to all of this. Hmm. I can't interact with any of those. It's like I need to get to these. See, these look like power cells. Maybe I need to put those in there. Can I pull that one out? Oh, I can. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. Let's stick that one there. And we'll stick this one here. Pull that one out. Okay. Going across, coming down. Maybe I need to go up here. There we go. Are we going to play Pony Island? Oh. What if I should... Okay, I grabbed it. <laughs> oh my goodness, what is this? Root beer, that's what all those barrels say. Walk. Magnum Opus? <laughs> There's nothing else here. I can't go that way. No, it won't even let me. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. I can... This is Lionel Snell. If you're hearing this, it's because you turned on the developer commentary for my latest game. I... Magnum opus, really, called Walk. <laughs> what a 
<laughs> we, what is this? My goodness. All right, latest game. Walk. I guess this is what I'm supposed to walk to. The scene you're looking at is the model of my childhood bedroom. This right here is where Super Weasel Kid was conceived. Take it in. Oh, <laughs> what? Cooking Granny. Popper's root beer. One of my favorite games at that age was Cooking Granny. I thought Chef Bryce was the coolest. <laughs> well, you know how that turned out. This is amazing. Okay, let's see what else happens here. So we got, we got two. This cage is open, this one's not. And that's Mr. Shrewd. The two always made little squeaks and chirps at each other. I like to imagine they were talking. Shrewd would be this wise parental figure giving advice to Weasel Kid. Uh. <laughs> that weasel was my favorite pet. I called him, yeah, you guessed it, Weasel Kid. <laughs> what in the world? This is, this is insane. Can I, must be something else to interact with. My original plan for Walk was to have it be an almost non-interactive experience. Just allow the player to explore and contemplate. I did some market research though, and well, that kind of game was falling out of vogue. Not much money in it. So I jammed in some real gameplay. <sighs> I thought that since this is about my life as a developer, why not show the player what it's like to make a game? I mean, this is like a way dumbed down version of the stuff I do, but but to the average gamer it's a challenge. This is crazy. Okay. Okay. Drag to here. I remember when I first got the jumping code right and hooked it up to a keyboard button. Oh, that dopamine rush electrified my childhood brain. <laughs> this is amazing. Hey there. I'm the GameWorks assistant, but you can call me Irving. Looks like you need a little help adding enemies to your game. I've got you covered, pal. Irving came as part of the GameWorks package. I was a little hesitant about using an AI at first, but he became really helpful. Okay. Move. Uh, so I want this one to move left. It didn't take long to realize how much I depended on Irving. He assured me that it was easy for him to come up with enemies and non-player characters for me, so I let him do his job. Okay, and then I want Jump to go to you. Okay. Uh... Oh, no, I need to put... Okay. I thought I was, like, going to make him jump over it, but I guess he needs to be able to move, too. He's going the wrong way. There we go. Boink. <laughs> this is fun. Irving told me we couldn't get the original Super Weasel Kid for Walk. Something about losing the files. Kind of a shame, I guess. Hmm. Move. Okay. You're going to need to move this way. It's going to be this right here. Uh, we got another move. 
Let's see what this one is. Does it jump? Okay, jump. Oh, we got two for jump. No, we need this one. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then I need a left move, I guess. Mm. No, no, no. Up, over, down. There we go. Hey, look at that. I'm programming, everybody. I'm making a game. <laughs> Do I got any uh, game developers, fans of the channel? You guys make games? That's what I wanted to do back when I was going to college. I wanted to be able to make games. Unfortunately, it didn't pan out that way, but... I tell you, where the industry's going right now, though, it might be a blessing in disguise. Boom! Oh. Uh, I don't think I can jump over you. Oh, I'm gonna have to move that thing, aren't I? Okay. Uh, I will keep this one. Let's put this on. I'm assuming this is number two up here. There we go. Hello. There he goes. <laughs> he took his time, but he got there. The success of Super Weasel Kid paralyzed me. I tried starting a few different games, but I kept comparing them to my big hit. What would people think if I put out something that was worse? That I had just gotten lucky the first time? That I'm a one-trick pony? Eventually, I settled pony. on making a sequel. Super Weasel Kid Radical Road. Uh, <laughs> so I wonder if our programming's going to keep getting more advanced. That age. Always love those. I wanted to make one, but I wasn't quite as talented as I would become. So that's why I just had to add combat to Radical Road. Oop. We got a new one here. Take hit, we want to go to you. Punch. We want to go to you. Right? Oh, I gotta put it here. I thought it was just exhilarating to beat the shit out of that Grunda. <laughs> but the critics really came down on me for that part. It left me feeling like I had no idea what people wanted. See the little guy in the gray hood there for a second? Radical Road was met with mixed reviews, and it made me panic. I resolved to put away Super Weasel Kid forever and try something new. To top it off, my shrew died. Oh. Weasel Kid actually escaped, if you can believe it. I took him outside one time, and he slipped out of my hands and ran into my neighbor's rose garden. Oh. I searched for hours, but the garden was pretty big, and the thorns were painful. Oh. Mr. Shrewd was long dead at this point. Shrews just don't live that long. I didn't realize that some of the room stuff might change. In between, <laughs> he's got underwear down here. I saw this pop up. That's what got me thinking. A little electric guitar. Okay. I'd get emails once in a while. People asking to make deals, wanting to capitalize on my IP. It had been a couple of years now since Radical Road, and one day I just said, fuck it, fine. I sold the franchise to the highest bidder. Oh. Uh, I don't need to re- Oh, Game Funa. These are the ones that kept messing it all up. Uh, sign property and intellectual property. Uh, hereby perpetually revoke unconditional assignment transfer. Mm. Okay, it looks like all standard legal kind of stuff here. When oh. I saw what they did with Super Weasel Kid, I felt a little part of myself die. Oh. But I was 18 years old and loaded. It was actually one of the best years of my life. This is why I'm totally having flashbacks to 
uh, the beginner's guide. I feel like that's what, and that game is absolutely phenomenal. If you haven't played it, highly recommend it. If you don't want to play it and just want to watch it, I did a playthrough of it. It's fantastic. Probably one of the few games that actually got me pretty emotional and close to tears so far the on the channel. This scene is based on my foray into larger scale game development. The plan, make a fighting game. Not everyone remembers, but I started the Combat Arena franchise. Those guys working on it now merely inherited it. Mm. Okay, just... Oh, I can jump. Uh, jump a little bit higher. You're almost there. Oh. This Anyways, is wild. As I was saying, I don't get nearly enough credit for starting one of the most popular fighting game franchises in history. Ah, uh, it's a beauty, isn't it? I put my weasel bucks to use and bought this place with cash. Wow. And I hired a team. Combat Arena. Nice. I hired my childhood friend Carla to work at my new studio. She was halfway through a degree in computer science, but I offered her a huge salary. Hard to say no to that. <laughs> okay, I'm not seeing anything unique on any of these desks at the moment. Try to keep an eye out still for some coins in case maybe any of those pop up. Let me see that. Combat Arena X. I bought the rights for my favorite game character. Uh, that is, my favorite character I hadn't made myself. Integrating Bryce into Combat Arena was harder than I thought. I had a lot of help from Irving. Lionel's office. Oh, wow. That looks like the uh, Puppet Master Lady. That's something I can click. A projector. Can I still jump? No, nope, can't jump in here. I just want to click this real quick, just in case it is something clickable. Nope. <laughs> it's very bright. Wow, this is wild. So we're getting to know Lionel maker of all this. A little rubber ducky right there. Carla's first order of business was to tell me that I had designed too many male characters. I tried to tell her that Steambot Willy was genderless, but <laughs> she insisted. So I created Shandrell while she worked on Sado. Shandrell. Okay. Oh boy. All right. This is going to keep getting more advanced here. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Ever since Carla created Sado, I'd get these weird, annoying bugs in my games. And I'm still getting them in Walk. Wow. Okay. So, punch. Uh... Interesting. So that's the punch. We'll put here. Um. Oh, wait, nope. I need that to go. Oh, there we go. Not exactly oh. sure what Carla did while she was creating this you know. She told me some mumbo jumbo about pushing GameWorks to its limits. That character was eerie to say the least. Yeah. I agree. Just freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> wow. Well, okay, I guess maybe we go through the door now. Yep. Look at that door. That's exactly what it looked like in real life. 
Solid teak, hand-carved, gold nameplate. I was hiring people who were twice my age. I had to make sure they understood who was in charge. Mission accomplished. Oh. Stock prices, or is that maybe a player count? That sort of thing? Making Combat Arena gave me my first glimpse into the, well, to be frank, the stupidity and immaturity of gamers. True. Every damn day we got complaints about how this or that character was overpowered, <laughs> underpowered, too boring. Ugh, I never wanted to work on a fighting game again. Fight. That's so funny. Uh, oh, I may be mechanical, but I'm not fighting... I don't know what it said there. Fighting a guy, I think it said. Um. Oh, boy. Put it at five. Is this, like, the number of punches he'll do? Boom! Oh, how much damage he'll do. Oh, uh, let's see. Steambot Willie is so overpowered. OMG, if Willie doesn't get a nerf, I'm quitting the beta and never buying the game. Makes Steambot Willie less powerful. Okay, so we'll put it at three. So now it would be like balanced, right? Oops. Boom. Okay. This is wild. Oh, it's close. Ba boom. Okay, maybe I'm supposed to go even less than that. Make him underpowered, probably. So we can get the other complaint. Uh, it may still finish him. Yep. Because he gets a strike first. There we go. Steambot Willie ought to lose now. Boom. Okay. My favorite character is Steambot Willie, and you're making him trash. I want to play Willie again. Make Steambot Willie better. <laughs> Look at a little picture of the character up there in the top right corner. 